again everybody this is John channel is Elite Gamers United I want to start off by saying this is the last video for the month that is not doing a horror game so let's just let's get right into it today we're going to talk about Rally Sport Challenge 2 on the original Xbox and why nobody talks about this game so it's a rally racing game under the Xbox Sports uh, Network uh, XSN Sports which was their uh, what uh, Microsoft would have publish their sports titles on there back in the days of the OG Xbox. So I want to start with the visuals. This game, I want to say, in its day, absolutely gorgeous. 60 frames a second. Incredible environmental lighting. Tons of particles, dust, snow, gravel, water, <coughs> it all gets kicked up from the cars. The cars themselves look absolutely phenomenal. I will say, it's just, it's a pleasure on the eyes, and truthfully, there was a, a part here when you're driving through the forest, and the trees are golden yellow, and it reminded me of Ghost of Tsushima, and this game truly showed what the original Xbox could do in terms of lighting and special effects in their games. I think this, one of the best looking games of its generation, and still looks great to this day. The sound... Aside from the fact you can use your own custom soundtracks, which was a great feature on the original Xbox, it has your traditional high-octane uh, racing music. Nothing uh, nothing too memorable, but it, it's upbeat, it's fast, it, it gets your, 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 your heart pumping, especially when you're in an intense, hardcore race and you're neck and neck with your opponent. Tr again, wonderful sound, uh, wonderful music. The engines, the cars, they all sound incredible, especially when, you, when you're skidding around a turn, you're drifting right through it, and then you hammer the accelerator, and the engine just explodes, and you zoom out the apex and overtake your opponent. It, it's, it's as good as, as a racing game could sound from back in the day. Again, the music, traditional, upbeat, uh, a high-octane two tracks. The... The cars themselves, like I said, they sound absolutely awesome. You'll feel, you'll feel, you'll hear the, the wheels screeching around on the the concrete. You'll hear them going through the mud, through the snow. It, it's the impact when the cars hit each other. It's it, it sounds very good. I enjoyed the visuals in this game. I enjoyed the sound. I think, especially when you can use your own soundtrack. It, it's you can play whatever you want, whatever gets you going, and just take in the sights and enjoy racing in the different types of races which is going to bring me to the gameplay for this okay I have to actually have to make notes here so I didn't forget hang on hang on unprepared shame on me okay five different types of races you have ice racing rally racing hill climb crossover rally cross and super cross which you unlock the game had multiplayer, it had four-player uh, four split-screen, there's 90 tracks in this game, 40-plus cars, tons of different styles of races mix and matching with certain tracks. The, the cars, every car, the, okay, the game is accessible enough for newcomers to racing games who don't want a 100% simulation. But the game can also cater to the hardcore racing fans that want more uh, control and more in-depth uh, statistics and all those types of uh, elements that you find in modern racing games. You can tune your car. You can change the gear ratios, the tires, the, the grip, the, the towing of the wheels, where the power is distributed more, the front of the back, the suspension. It's all controllable with a slider bar. You can leave everything default and play like play normal, or you can learn how to manipulate and set the cars to optimal uh, tuning to optimize, you know, <laughs> optimize your skills and make your uh, times even better. Which one thing that's interesting about this game, when you're doing the circuits, it breaks off and branches off. It's not necessarily about coming in first place in some of these races, but how fast your time is. If you finish a race and your time is the highest of all the races, you came first place, but 
your time was not fast enough to get the top tier bracket, you're not going to get as many points. It's all point based in this game, which is interesting. So coming in first place is great, but some races require you to be fast. Win or lose, you still can keep advancing just as long as you have a certain amount of points. The different races and the different circuits all branch off. So you'll do three races of like an ice race, and then you might go to a, a mountain climb, and or you can go to a different, uh, you can go to a, a rally race. It's all done in brackets. So it's, it's just like picking your path. There's tons of replayability here. It's a lot of fun. The AI is very fair. I will say that. The AI is very... It doesn't rubber band. I actually think this game adapts to the way you play. So if you're struggling, the AI will go easier on you. If you're blowing them away, they're going to kick it up a notch. I, I can't stress enough why nobody talked about this game. This is one of my favorite racing games of all time. It perfectly blended simulation and arcade gameplay and allowed you to basically lean one way or the other. People that want a hardcore racing sim, you can find it here. People that want a more laid back arcade Daytona style experience, you can feel it. You, 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 can, you can feel that too. You can do it. You can play it however you like. That's the beauty of Rally Sport Challenge 2. And I'll tell you, no rally racing game, even to this day, I think comes close to touching this. Sega Rally is its own thing. We love Sega Rally, so let's, let's not put that next to this. They're both on the high pedestal. I do think the game has a couple flaws. Loading times are uh, not tragic. You know, pain in the ass, but whatever. That's nitpicking. There's, there's not enough racing games that can do what this does. You can be, again, it can be a sim, and it can be an arcade-style racer, it, however you want it. There's so much to do here, tons to unlock. Paint jobs are unlocked as you drive your cars a certain amount of miles. It's listed in the trivia above. <clears throat> There's tons of cars in the game, you know, I mean, 40 plus, but they're all cars that matter. They're cars that define their genre. You'll find the Evo, you'll find the Subaru, you'll find Hyundai Accents, you'll find Skodas, you, you'll find um, Volvos, which was the king of the ice racing circuits, from what, uh, what I remember, from what I was told and what I've read. But you, you just, and you can tune your cars and save all your tunings for a certain track and then just load it up so you don't have to keep readjusting. You can save pretty much as many custom setups as you want, and I think it's a great thing that most racing games, like, they, they do it now, but they didn't do it back then. You'd have to keep retuning, if they even let you tune a car. But that's the beauty of Rally Sport Challenge 2. It, it's, it's whatever you make it. So if you're into racing games, whether you're a hardcore racer, or you like a laid-back arcade experience, you will find it here. And again, I will actually say, I loved this game back in the day. I, and I still love it. I can't stress enough. It's cheap. It's affordable. You can find it at your local retro shop. Give it a shot. I implore you. Give it a shot. You will not be disappointed. Once you see that 60 frames, blister, the, the 60 frames blistering by, the environments, the lighting, the particles, the, the, the cars, they take damage as well. The, the sound, the Octane soundtrack, the, the beautiful courses, the night racing, there's so much here. And I'll tell you what, I don't think they make racing and rally games like this anymore. They all became hardcore simulations. Let's go back to basics. Check this game out. I mean, me, I like racing games, I'm not into them. I'm not going to put a hundred or thousands of hours into Forza or Gran Turismo. It's, it's just not going to happen. I don't care enough about the genre to invest that kind of time. But you know what? I'll put time into this game. Anyway, I'm John. This is Elite Gamers United. And I, I want to just say, please guys, anybody who loves racing games, check this out. You will not be disappointed. Please, Rally Sport Challenge 2, original Xbox. Nobody talked about it back in the day, but I'm talking about it now. Everybody, have a good day, and my next video, we are going to be doing horror games the rest of the month. Everybody, have a good day.